With the amount of social media in the modern day, it seems like everyone is becoming a photographer. For a hobbyist, this seems like a great platform for their work to potentially reach millions of people. But for a professional, does it damage the value of their work? In a previous edition of Behind the Brush, a gallery owner sparked our interest in the topic. Cambridge isn't into photography at the moment. Um, it's something, well, in fact the UK isn't very good at, at photography, Americans are full of it and we haven't caught up with them yet. So they don't value it in a way that they value other print mediums like um, etchings and, and handmade prints. And why should they pay a few hundred pounds, thousands of pounds for an art photography print that either they could do themselves or then get something pretty similar from um, John Lewis or Ikea or somewhere like that. To question the artistic value of photography, who better to ask than a landscape photographer, since their use of perspective mirrors the conventional forms of 2D art. I think my style is it's a very natural style. There's a lot of, um, a lot of people on the internet. There's a big push for sort of very saturated colours and, um, and perhaps pictures that aren't what you would see necessarily and they're probably more interpreted by the, um, by the photographer. Um, I like to keep things sort of like as natural as possible so that you could actually imagine that you would be at that particular place at that particular time. But I think it's the consistency of getting good photographs. Um, and I think as well in some locations then sort of like then it is actually the artist that comes out in you to actually get that shot that's not the picture postcard shot. And also the quality of the art, I think is, is sometimes sort of like, is perhaps under, underestimated by people. Um, a chap at work, I was speaking to him a couple of months ago and he said, so like, well, why do you need a digital SLR? So like, why can't you just take these photographs on, on, on an iPhone? Having an eye for a photograph, I think is actually an art in itself. Um, I think anyone can pick up a camera and anyone can put that on automatic and anyone can probably get maybe a mediocre or even quite a good photograph. Um, and if the light is just right and you put someone in just the right spot and you point them in the right direction, then I think a lot of people probably could get a good photograph. Everyone can take snaps, um, but I still think there is a great value in, in photography. Um, I think as, as a landscape photographer, then it is actually, it isn't just a matter of turning up and taking a photograph and then going away. Um, there's a lot of planning involved. Um, there's a lot of turning up to locations and being disappointed because the weather's not quite right. Um, returning to locations time after time after time. And, um, and so, it's very difficult to put a value on any piece of artwork. Um, and likewise with photography, there's many famous photographers and their art sells for you know, hundreds, maybe even thousands of pounds. Um, but again, that's not to say that sort of like the, a keen amateur, their photographs aren't in some way, maybe better or even, um, or even as good. Not only is artistic value in question, but has photography's commercial value dropped as a result of the abundance of amateur photography? It seems that finding a photographer who makes a living from their work is increasingly hard to find. Ilyan Ilyev has over 30 years of experience specialising in food photography, and who better to know about the changes affecting his industry? Photography is art. People say I'm artist, I'm a photographer. I, I, I like cooking, I like, uh, I enjoy, enjoy styling, I do photography, and I like eating. <laughs> now, what, what I'm creating, I want to show what is inside. My style, I can say, is a bit more in dark side, popping contrast and colors, and using long lens with a little bit out of focus background, but recognizable details on the background. I'll slice one more and make this palette more interesting. 
in nowadays photography is quite simple. We don't need so much equipment, so much uh, lighting, and just piece of white cotton is absolutely enough to bounce in the light. Nowadays, it's quite quite big challenge to, to be a professional photographer at all, not just food photographer, because almost everyone is a photographer. You have this uh, camera in your pocket and everybody does photography. That's why I say it's quite big challenge. Internet is good market now and I'm I'm selling a lot of to the internet and I catch my clients. They discover my website and they call me because they like my picture. They like my, actually my style. Talking about uh, Instagram, uh, I think all these applications for, for mobiles to edi editing imaging, they are created on a base uh, to help people without any experience to have good looking pictures. We, we all walking on the same path, but we see different things in a different way. I, I think it's very helpful for the competition to have these kind of tools in the internet to, to compare your, your photography and to, to see what the other people do. Though it seems like everybody is becoming a photographer, social media is a powerful tool in observing the competition. Style of Cambridge is an Instagram page growing in popularity and as hobbyists it would be great to hear about the importance of these platforms from their perspective. Yeah, my name is Fahad Hussain. I'm Shweb Siddiqui and we're Style of Cambridge. I've always enjoyed fashion, so I thought, you know what, why don't I go onto the streets and take pictures of fashionable people? And that's where the idea of Style of Cambridge was born. Sasha, because of what you're wearing, it's quite casual, so I think it'll be nice if you get the contrast of this building and your clothes. So maybe if we have you sitting on the stairs, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, that's fantastic. All right, Sasha, what's going to happen is um, I'm going to direct you, uh, direct the shot, and Shweb over here, he's going to take the shots, okay? We're going to take a few shots so you get comfortable. That's it, just do exactly that, just relax. How we, how we get people involved in the page um, is two ways. Either we, can, we, we stop on the street and uh, tell them, you know, they're, they're very fashionable, and if we could, it is awkward at first, but yeah, you know, we get used to it. Yeah, it's breaking the ice. Yeah, you know, it's breaking like... the ice and ask them if they want to be part of the page. So, yeah, exactly. So if we do grab them off the street, we'll um, you know, say, you know, really like what you're wearing, we'll explain what we do. And like 90% of the time, people will be really flattered and you know, say, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Um, you're going to look towards the street, okay? So you're not looking completely down, you're looking slightly down like that. It's, yeah, yeah. Just be relaxed, don't, don't step up, yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't worry, you're doing, you're doing really well. All right, whenever you're ready. Yeah, social media is actually benefiting the photo industry because it's a platform to show your work off to millions of people, mm, potentially definitely. millions of people. Photographers, current photographers now, they've got their own Instagram pages which got 100,000 followers already. Um, and from there, even people from all over the world who usually wouldn't get access to that photo via paper advertisement means, they would get it via social media means. And I'll say it definitely helps local photographers, small time photographers like us, because you know, we don't have the big platforms to air our work. We only have the, you know, the Instagrams, the Facebooks to, to get our work out there. So it's yeah. really helpful for, for small time yeah. photographers like and, us. And we solely rely on social media. Mm, that's, that's our fundamental platform. So it seems that social media is great to get your work seen, but makes the transition into earning money as a photographer increasingly difficult because of all the competition. But we still haven't answered the question of how the artistic value of photography compares with other forms of 2D art. So I, I think photography is an art form. I think that there's different genres of photography and some perhaps are more arty than others. There's, at the extreme end uh, is the form where you do manipulate highly the images. Uh, so you combine all sorts of different images together to create uh, a new image. Whereas wildlife photography is at the other end of the art form where you're trying to be pure, I guess, and doing as minimal as possible while conveying this message of what the wildlife is doing and what the natural world is like.
I guess I'm trying to raise awareness of what's there rather than change people's minds. Um, and maybe it will change their minds. You know, we're constantly hearing about habitat loss and the reduction in number of various species, such as cuckoos, turtle doves, that have gone down over 50% in the last so many years. So if I can take some shots of those and get people interested in, that might be for the good. Taking photographs, and the photographs themselves, certainly these days seem to be less value than other forms of artwork. I guess part of that is because how easy they are to copy and transmit. And I think a lot of people, or some people, will give away their images perhaps too easily, with too not enough value. So it's not something that I, I, I do because I see value in them. Photography is greatly appreciated as an art form by those in the industry, but that doesn't seem to translate into a stable career path. The social media craze allows people to platform their work to millions of others, which certainly creates opportunity for artists, but as the gallery owner implied, photography isn't necessarily on the same commercial level as other art forms. I'm Eze Kovacs, and thanks for watching another episode of Behind the Brush.